uh, Stranger Things Season 4 will be split into two volumes. The first will premiere on May 27th, and the second will release on July 1st. Hi. Okay, uh, cool. According to the creators, the season's nine scripts are combined over 800 pages. The season has been filming for over two years. There are thousands of visual effect shots, and the runtime is twice that of the previous season. So, so they shot two seasons is what you're telling me? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, so why isn't it called season four and five then? Because five is going to be a whole new, a uh, separate thing. Okay, then. So so every episode of this season will likely be like an hour and a half. Great. Right. That's just what I wanted more people to go. I love that show whenever I wear my Stranger Things t-shirt. Well, um, they're splitting it into two. Every vo- single time I go outside in that shirt. Every so, single time. When I heard they were splitting it into two volumes, I was like, okay... It's because it's literally taking so long mm-hmm. you need to put something out while they finish it. And then, I, and then I saw that it's like, they're like a month apart from each other. And I think it's because they wanted to do the weekly model for this. Mm-hmm. But they knew everyone would get really mad at them for it. Yeah, because it's so their flagship like, we'll show. we'll just split it into two. And I think this was the plan Because more time. or less, Stranger Things defined original streaming programming. It was like Netflix. It show. was the first well, big original. it wasn't their first... It was their first, like, main... Sh- it like, was their first big original broad, show. Broad, broad hit show. Because they had, like, House of Cards before that. But that wasn't... That but started that was, on like, network that television. That was, like, adult-oriented. And that started on network television. No, it didn't. I thought it did. Mm-mm. All right, well, never mind. This was their first big solo show. Like, this is the one they'll admit was a big hit because the other one had Kevin Spacey on it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, cool. Um, do, do you... You still care about Stranger Things? I am so sick of Stranger Things. Which is weird because and the last season aired like story. three years ago. God, After season two, it's just, just so dumb and bad. Mm. Season three was brain dead. Season How does anyone still enjoy... There's... Season two was fine because it was just a logical extension of season one, which was also fine. Season three was a disappointment and a mess it had very little cohesive plot to it wait was the last season season three or season four season Season three season four is not out yet we were just talking about that the whole of season three was just setting up for season four which isn't still isn't out yet yeah nearly four years later you can have your fries no you can't i only asked one time This guy. Just asking. There's been three seasons of this show, and I couldn't tell you one thing about the Upside Down other than that it's goopy. Yeah. So that so we th- we have spent three seasons in this world, and we still know almost nothing about it. Not because they're like setting up some grand mystery, but because mm. the mysteries are so uninteresting and so boring. Even the characters forgot well, to pursue them. Speaking of big setups, so they said that. In their big plan they made for the show, they always pictured it being five seasons. Mm -hmm. So season four will be the second to last. Five will be the last one. And then they teased more adventures in the Stranger Things universe after that. Just a spinoff. So they're going to do some spinoffs. Okay, Stranger Things should have always been one long form horror based like narrative. Then the next season it should have is been another horror based long form adventure with a different set of people. Mm-hmm. And they should, because the show is called Stranger Things. I wanted to see more than one strange <laughs> thing. Right now, the show is just there's a strange thing. One, there's one strange thing. Yeah, it would have been cool if it was more anthology, well, like you, every season if was you a just different. Watch group. the first season of Stranger Things on its own, it works fine as like a beginning, middle, and end. <laughs> Yeah. Because it was obviously intended to be one season. Yeah. And then when they got to the season two, they were like, this is our big hit. Well, they left a couple... We gotta do, like, four more seasons. They left a couple things open-ended if they wanted to explore more. You could tell that, one, the unexplained stuff was unexplained because things are always creepier when it's unexplained. Mm-hmm. And two, the stuff that they, like, left behind, that's, like, very like Twilight Zone-esque. Like the little Zone-esque. slug barf guy. Yeah, that's, all, that's very, like, Twilight Zone-esque. Or the fact that the, she's called Eleven, so there must... Yeah, and then I guess there's more other ones, but like it, none of that stuff needed be, to be explained for that story to just work on its own. Yeah, and now that we're getting this whole big then season four season two, arc they've been planning the out, Shadow Man, whose motivations consisted of, "Grr, I'm the Shadow Man, the shadow and man. I don't, I wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step on you." Uh, Sam, or, what are you I talking guess? about? 
What are you talking about? Halloween Five? No, the what Mind Flare, the Shadow Man. Oh, oh the I'm big, a big Shadow, shadow Monster. Man. Okay, and like, what would I step on you? And it you was like that's why I confused me. Yeah, it was like a big spider. The actual man. Like you talking about like what. When Will walks out of the arcade and he sees the big spider-looking yeah, thing. Yeah, the shadow thing. That's not a man, though. That's confusing. I'm calling it the shadow man, because it, it's named... The Mind Flare? How is Mind Flare any less stupid Just say than calling it the thing. shadow man? Sam, Mind Flare is a thing from Dungeons & Dragons. Yes, I remember aware Dungeons of that. And Dragons? You know what the Mind Flare... You know what the Mind Flare does in Dungeons & Dragons? None of that stuff. But it's a cool it's name. It's basically just a but wizard. But it's a cool name that's from the 80s, Sam. The 80s were rad. <laughs> and if we keep making the show, we're gonna run out of 80s. We're gonna to run be out of 80s. They're gonna have to go into the 90s. You know, the creators are like 35. They were like three years old in the 80s. <laughs> That's so dumb. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Uh, are you talking about the Shadow Man? Season, yeah. And then season three. <laughs> season three, the villain was, oh, I'm the Shadow Man, but now I'm a Goopy Man. Yeah. Season three was the dumbest. Now I'm a Goop Monster. I'm a big rat grandma season Goop three. Monster. The evil, the villain's plan is to possess the body of an ang uh, the body of an angry seventeen year old, mm -hmm. and just get him to do bad things <laughs> while simultaneously Eating. mind controlling people into a warehouse where he then explodes them into piles of goop and then becomes a big, a big goopy goop man thing. who then chases a around a, aimlessly, a, a, who then attacks a mall. Which the mall is a front for a secret Soviet Russian, Union Russian, base Russian who's trying operation. to open a portal to another dimension. Which, by the way, why would anyone want to go there? There's why nothing they, of value there. Why do they keep trying to go? There's nothing of value there. Like, I guess the, the tease at the end of season three is that they, I guess they stole or, a Demogorgon okay, from there. If there is something of value there... In the three seasons the show has been running, we still don't know what it is. As far as we or know, it's literally to be just there. normal Earth, but there's more goop. But it's just sort of and slimy. And there's creepy, angry monsters everywhere, and the air is unbreathable. Even though there was a kid living there for literally weeks? We just sort of ignore that? Was he suffocating for weeks? What did he eat? What did he eat? Did he eat? What was did happening Did the monster with that? keep him alive for fun? What was going on with that? We still zero answers to this day. Well, don't worry, Sam. Because five is the last season. What I'm fully expecting from this from this season is just hours of exposition. No. Also, eight. Remember eight? I do remember eight. Oh, you mean spinoff T's character? Spinoff T's character. That's my. <laughs> that's, that might as remember well. Remember soft name. pilot for spinoff show? <laughs> I bet it would have been called. The Great Eight. No, they would have just called it Eight. <laughs> nah, now they call it the Great. No, they eight. would have called it Stranger Things: Colon Zero Zero Eight. Yeah, even though it's the, like the the second spinoff, only spinoff. So the, yeah, two. Who do you think will spin off into their own show? Greg. I think they're gonna give eleven. I no, think I think you know the the security guard who dies in the first season, doing because he knew he knew JavaScript. And so yes. he had to die to, to oh, turn the sprinkler Bob? on. Bob! Bob's going to be alive and he's going to get a spin-off show. <laughs> <laughs> Bring him back. Bring just a Bob. Resurrect his corpse. He's, be a spin -off about him. he's the villain. He was the what? villain. All. We didn't see him die. We didn't see him die. We, we saw him violently get eaten on the floor. No. <laughs> no, we didn't see his body. No, we didn't. Because <laughs> he was violently consumed on no, the floor. No, we didn't see the body. <laughs> yes, we did. There was a big panic shot of his corpse lying on the ground. No, 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 he could have been alive. It's maybe his soul got transferred. If Darth Maul could live, he can live. Maybe that maybe he like transferred his soul telepathically to someone else. Yeah, anyway. it's a dumb show for dumb people. Yes, I don't. That's why I watch it. <laughs> this is unrelated, but I just like to point out Qui Gon Jinn died from a stab wound, and Darth Maul survived being cut in half. Yep. Anyway, <laughs> Qui Gon was lame. That's why. No, he was the coolest Jedi no, Sam, ever. No, it's because Darth Maul used rage to keep himself alive or whatever. But Dave Filoni says that Qui Gon's the coolest guy ever, so I gotta, I gotta go with Qui -Gon what he was says. Cool, he was Liam Neeson. Okay. Anyway, are we done with Stranger Things four.